Hola mis amigos, we're making pepperoni casserole. We have preheated our oven to 350 degrees and we have cooked 16 ounces of rotini pasta to al dente and sat that aside. And we've also browned one pound of Italian sausage and drained it. So at this point, we are ready to add 16 ounces of pasta sauce. And we're just gonna give that a stir. And then we are going to add our rotini pasta. Again, that is 16 ounces of rotini pasta. I'm using whole wheat. And we want to stir that in. Now we want to transfer this to our 13 by nine inch baking dish. We just want to spread this out and sit this aside while we prepare our topping. Here we have 24 ounces of part skim ricotta cheese and to that we want to add 12 ounces of mozzarella cheese and that'll be about three cups and then we just want to give this a stir. If you're a fan of Supreme Pizza, you can add any toppings that you would prefer, like olives, jalapenos, anything else that you would like to add at this point. But I am just going to make a plain pepperoni casserole, so we're going to leave it as is. So at this point, we are ready to top our pasta with our cheese mixture. So you can just drop it by the tablespoonful and then start spreading it around. Now that our cheese mixture is evenly spread, we are prepared to add the star of the show, the pepperonis. So you want to add about six ounces of pepperonis or however many it takes for you to top your casserole fully. Okay, we've got our pepperoni added to the top of our casserole, and now we are ready to pop this into our 350 degree oven for about 25 minutes or until slightly golden. So we'll be back to show you the final result. Pepperoni casserole, enjoy, and I'll see you at the dinner table.